So in 2014, we started a company called Vinci. But the problem that day one we're trying to solve is to how can we run without your phone. So that's why we started to integrate the music player into the headphone. When we started to solve the problem, we found that we don't want a user to take the headphone off to choose songs. So we designed, we designed like the user interface to be the voice first. We want the voice to be the primary interaction between the people, you know, between the wear and the device. So that's where we, how we have the smart headphone, which focus on the voice first, listen to the users, to understand the user and recommend songs automatically. Our headphone is designed on day one to be completely independent. So you don't need your phone really to play the music. Uh, it's got its own hardware, it's got its own OS. But also we understand that phone is still our, I carry a phone with me every day, of course. So that's why with the second generation, we put in the Bluetooth module as well. So people can still stream music on the phone, connecting, synchronizing the data from the headphone to the phone. I think one of the features of the our headphone, because it carries a major software on it that defines the user interface, design the user experiences. So even though the user bought Vinci headphone, uh, take them to their home, they can still enjoy constantly updates, upgrades to the headphones. Starting from last year, we're starting to building a totally new generation of Vinci that uses English only. Because this is a product, it's a very language-focused product, right? So we completely revamped the whole product, then we put it on Kickstarter last year, and then we laid it in Indiegogo. So we cumulatively, we raised about $1.3 million. And it's just amazing to see how people like to like us, like the product, like the idea, like the how we interact with the headphones. And we're ready to ship the headphone next month. So hopefully we will see how the world sees Vinci's. When I was young, our the branding that we aspire to in the world is Sony, is brands like Sony, brands like Samsung. And uh, but it has never been a Chinese brand had reached that level internationally. So I think it's a great time that Chinese, China has a pretty mature supply chain, has probably the best manufacturing bases in the world, but also the talents. I think we are seeing an influx of Chinese talents coming from all over the world to make that happen, to make a really a brand that combines the manufacturing, combines all the technology, the best technology in the world, from Silicon Valley, from US, and to have a brand that coming directly from China.